Well, hopefully so. Yeah, take, take advantage of this news. 20 billion pounds in goods. 3.3 billion people from 65 countries. The Developing Countries Trading Scheme, announced by the United Kingdom, is said to benefit the export of the 65 developing countries to the UK in the hopes of boosting trade, creating jobs and building stronger commercial ties. The launching event, held in Ethiopia at Bole Lami Industrial Parks, set the tone for what to expect with textile and laser manufacturers front and centre expected to grow their export capacity to the UK market. The DCTS will provide duty-free trade on almost 100% of goods, exceptions being arms and munitions, for Ethiopian manufacturers to export to the UK market. Up to 75% of goods could be outsourced from outside markets and still be eligible for tariff-free trade, according to the British government. Nigel Huddleston, UK's Ministry of State for Business and Trade, in a speech for the launch of the scheme, emphasised his government's commitment to free, fair and sustainable trade with developing countries. He went on to add about the purpose and benefits of the scheme for all involved. I believe it will have far-reaching impact, helping, for example, onion farmers in Senegal, olive oil producers in Algeria, and garment manufacturers here in Ethiopia to grow their businesses and to prosper. Under the DCTS, least developed countries continue to benefit from duty-free trade on everything but arms. And also, DCTS significantly extends duty-free access to many other developing countries. In Africa, countries like Nigeria and Algeria will see tariffs cut on over 3,000 products, from processed fruit and vegetables to fertilizers and vehicles. But it goes further than tariff reductions. In designing the DCTS, we have listened carefully to what developing countries tell us that they want. In particular, we have made it easier for least developed countries like Ethiopia to use components from other countries in their duty-free exports to the UK, and so integrate further into the world economy. These changes to rules of origin support important initiatives like the Africa Continental Free Trade Area Agreement and are potential game changers for the region. Ethiopia's Industry Park Development Corporation CEO Aklilu Tadasa showed appreciation to the UK for supporting development and tariff-free trade to his country's growing manufacturing industry, while also emphasizing on the need to diversify export destinations for the country's products. The developing countries' trade scheme will benefit all exporters and investors located in the industrial parks. In this, I will call up to all enterprises to use this golden opportunity to grow your business and to diversify your market destinations. For questions raised from the media present, if the UK government plans to use this scheme for political influence, same as it is currently being done by the US administration with regards to the African Growth and Opportunity Act, United Kingdom's Business and Trade State Minister has this to say. Trade enables us to have conversations um, with government officials and with governments in many other areas as well. And also we have very good uh, dialogue through other channels. Uh, but this aid is, is not tied. Uh, that's one important uh, point of it. We want to make sure that there's benefits uh, of it. Now, uh, we have dialogue, we have discussions uh, through the Foreign Office and elsewhere. Uh, but it's really, really important that uh, that, uh, uh, that we, we don't set ridiculous, uh, uh, difficult preconditions because we want to take advantage of this aid whilst also having robust conversations uh, with, uh, with, with uh, friends around the world on other matters. Uh, but we want to make sure that this, uh, this, this trading scheme is, uh, is fully taken advantage of. <laughs>